Good morning and happy 1st of December. It's early, so it's still dark outside. But it's 1st of December, so I'm going to go and open my calendar. I have this Yule, Christmas, Advent, call it what you want, calendar that I got, which is a vegan fudge calendar, which is yay! <laughs> and I also wanted to say that this year I am not going to do vlogmas like I did last year where I tried to do a video every day and post one video every day I am not going to do that this year I'm going to post a little every now and then maybe like some vlogs and stuff I know I have Queer Lit Readathon coming up so I'm going to do that and just record maybe every day. I'm not sure if I manage to record every day but if I don't that's not a crisis but I want to do like a kind of vlogmas but not like a traditional vlogmas because I simply don't have the energy to do that. I'm going to go and open my advent calendar. One of the books I am currently reading is House of Hollow that has been popping up all over the place, Instagram, YouTube, all, everywhere basically. And I have been really intrigued about it so I have started reading it. The cover is really beautiful. Also something I like, I don't know about other copies but about my copy is that every chapter has this decoration the start of the chapter. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Not gotten very far yet. So I'm very curious to see how this will go on. It's dark when I arrive at work and it's dark when I go home.
this licorice is not really licorice. Crystal Sutherland and I really enjoyed it. If you asked me which genre I would put it in, I would say it's a young adult queer horror book. And the reason for that is it's young adult and the main character is bi. It also has a side character which is very close to the main character who is a lesbian. But that being said, it's not really uh, important for the story, but it's still there. Definitely horror. I loved the twist at the end. Uh, I really didn't see that coming and I have tried now to kind of make a sum up uh, with my own words, but I, I don't know how many times now, but I fail, I keep failing. So I'm, instead of doing that, I'm going to read from the back of the book. Dark, dangerous things happen around the Hollow Sisters. E ever since they disappeared as children, only to reappear a month later with no memory of what had happened to them. Odd, eerie occurrences follow in their wake. When Grey, the eldest, goes missing again, Iris and Vivi are left to figure out the mystery. But they aren't the only ones looking for her. As they brush against the supernatural, Iris realizes that the world that returned them 10 years ago might be calling them back. But just how much horror lies beneath the surface. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of the synopsis. There's a lot more in the book that I didn't say anything about. I don't like spoiling, so I'm not going to say anything more about it, but I really, really love this. And that wraps up my first Vlogmas video. As I said at the beginning, I'm not going to make a video every day. I am just going to film a few days and then make a video of that. And tomorrow the Queer Lit Readathon starts, so I will have a video for that, a reading vlog, which will also be my like vlogmas video. I am looking forward to reading some queer literature. Well, I read a lot of queer literature anyway, but with some prompts. So that's going to be fun. I guess that's it for now. So I will see you later in my next video. Bye.